Hey guys, what's happening? This is Beta Ready. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these um, LiPo conversion packs for your fat shark goggles. I'll have all of the parts listed in the description. We'll get started by modifying the 2S balance lead, also known as the JST XH2S. Um, we're going to take out the cables by dropping the pins and then pulling them back. We're only going to need the cables on the outermost edges of this uh, balance connector. Have a quick look at the overlay for orientation. Be very careful to make sure that you are getting these right. Just to be clear, I am actually using standard convention here. If you're getting something red, one of the red wires in this video is showing you a positive voltage feed. The black will always be ground. So if you look at the connector from the side with the little orientation ribs, uh, you want the red cable on the left hand side and the black or the ground cable on the right hand side. After that you're going to need some extra wire. Um, you're looking for two pieces of red wire uh, at about between about 10 and 12 centimeters and two pieces of ground or black wire at the same length, so 10 to 12 centimeters. I'm going to take the uh, DC inline jack, which is a male jack between about 9 and 12 uh, millimeters in length. Uh, this is a 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter right angled jack. I'm going to solder the out power from the buck converter through to that center pin. So the, the center pin is supplying the positive voltage to the goggle. Uh, and then the ground cable is going to go to the outside of that. I'm going to start by soldering a battery supply lead wire of about a meter, just over a meter, from the battery which I'm connecting an XT60 to. I'm going to take a positive line to the in plus and then a ground or black line to the in minus. Following that, you're going to be working on the other side. You're going to take the two red wires, one from the DC uh, barrel jack and then the red from the uh, JST or balance connector. Solder that to the out plus and then likewise with the two black cables we're going to go to the out minus feed. I'd suggest at this point that you get your tester out, uh, plug the battery into the XT60 connector that's connected to the inside. Uh, just make sure that your polarities are correct and then once you've done that make sure that you dial in the little potentiometer so that you're getting the voltage that you want for your goggles. I dialed mine into about 8 volts. Make sure you do this before you get anywhere close to your goggles because you don't want to burn them up because you've reversed the polarity or uh, haven't set the voltage right. The last thing I'm going to be doing with the electronics is um, protecting it all a little bit so I'm looking for strain relief. I'm going to be adding hot glue uh, and then I'm going to be pushing the heat shrink back down over the hot glue uh, and then remelting everything so that it really can't work any of the cables to the point that they break. At this point in the video I'm starting to think about the case that I actually want for this. Um, I'm looking for something that actually fits into the existing elasticated slot where the fat shark goggles would normally take a battery. Once I've done that I take all the figures that I've uh, measured and, and start working that into something that I can get printed, uh, which is the little uh, montage that you're seeing now. The print itself you can uh, find on Thingiverse, or the file rather, will be on Thingiverse. Uh, and so feel free to download it from there, the link will be in the description. Uh, print that out. Uh, it slots in pretty easily, it's, it's fairly tight like in terms of the tolerances, but you'll get it in there as long as you don't go too crazy with the hot glue. You'll see me at this point starting to work it into the case. The case itself is really simple. Uh, just make sure that you're pushing it into the smaller side. This is the buck converter assembly that you've done. Um, hot glue it down. Uh, push glue in from the side so that again you're providing strain relief. And then you just need a cable tie um, through the provided holes. Uh, from there you're pretty much ready to go, you can test it out. Uh, it'd probably be a good idea at this point just to make sure that you get it on the um, uh, voltage tester just one more time just to make sure that you've still got it tuned in right. Uh, and dab of hot glue is, is quite a good idea if you are getting anything moving around. So just put the hot glue onto the uh, potentiometer on the uh, buck converter. That's about it for this video. Um, so if you enjoyed this, if you want to see more stuff like this, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All of the parts I used uh, for this build along with uh, any lengths or anything like that, I'll list in the description. 
And like I say, you can find anything on Thingiverse that you might need in terms of uh, files for printing out on your 3D printers.